You are now listening to Play Talk Martin Productions. Say the meek will inherit the earth. We say the nerds are already in control. Welcome to the Frackin' Nerds, episode number 297. I'm your host, Doc Martin. And joining me, let's see which way should we go here. Let me see, remove that. You know what? We'll start off with the, the guy who always craves that hunt as our own Chris Class. How you doing, Chris? Hey, I am good, buddy. Thank you for having me on again. It is great to be back. And um yeah, haven't been. I've been craving that hunt, but I've been uh, lacking on the on the videos. But there's going to be a new one that goes goes up this weekend. I promise. I gotta say, I really love the the background that you got going on there, uh, especially the the shelving unit that you got with the figures on the wrestlers. Thanks. And, yeah, uh, it looks really. Dude, this is this. As a matter of fact, I went to this is a typical shelf, just a little, you know, uh, nice. okay. uh, six whatever type of shelf. Um, the thing on top, this black thing is a, a separate shelf on top, but what you do is you take it, you turn that some bitch sideways and shove it up your ass. No, you turn it <laughs> sideways and it's a, uh, it's for shoes. It's a shoe organizer. Oh, really? I found it on clearance for like eight fifty at Walmart. I mean, it's perfect for action figures. You, yeah. You turn it sideways and you could, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't shove it up your ass, you can put shoes in it or like, you know, do it this way and, uh, do figures. So... <laughs> so yeah that's what it is it was on sale and if you uh as a matter of fact a uh walmart off of westport i think they had a few of those no i'm sorry off of uh um uh, uh bardstown road that walmart they had right. uh, they had a few of those so so anybody looking for that deal on a shoebox <laughs> you can go over to uh Very fucking walmart and westport pitch. Yeah. Um, yes so it uh, works out great it works out great and my plan is once i start because the bottom shelf has a lot of them turned sideways <laughs> so because they have nice side art too um you could do the same thing here and put multiple ones on there and you see nice side art so there you go very nice and then let's move on to the gentleman <laughs> that uh <laughs> recently uh mr bones if you don't know who mr bones is he, <laughs> he's an edm and uh he uh I told him to give him some advice to our own Joshua since he's about to handle the uh, Marvel universe. And, um, and so he did give him some advice. Uh, um, I'll post it at the end of the show. So you all see what Joshua, hello, Joshua. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for that <laughs> inspirational cameo uh, for Mr. Bones and Mr. Bones. If you're watching this, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule for doing such a lovely thing. And your words of encouragement were very helpful. Did and, he really uh, give you his phone number? Yes. Oh my god! Uh, but I don't need to like text him or anything like that. But well, dude, I'll it fucking was... text him. I need more. I need more followers on Craving the Tweet <laughs> on YouTube. So I'm sure Mr. Rose uh, has more. Than the, me. the biggest thing is hashtag. That's what he said. Ha always remember yes, exactly. hashtag. remember hashtags. Hashtags. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you don't know who Mr. Bones is, look him up. He is a stop laughing. He has an EDM. Um, that I'm not laughing. He has a I'm degenerate just... disease that he does it from his. He's not bad music. Go check him out. And, we listened to some of his DJing earlier. He was yeah. like fucking. It's kind of, yeah. He was kind of doing all right. I mean, he's no mix master Mike, but fuck, who is? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's right. That's right. Yeah. All right, moving on. Well, remember, like Mr. Bones, like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> if you like your favorite podcast, you can find it on uh, all the all, like every place: Google, uh, Spotify, <laughs> iHeartRadio. All the cool places. So on today's show, uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, with E3 coming up, a lot of news about Xbox and streaming, like virtually anywhere you can think about to stream an Xbox game, you're going to be able to do that. We now have a Craven the Hunter, the real one, not the guy from uh, over in Indiana. It's going to be from the new Sony line of uh, Spider-Verse movies without no Spider-Man. And you're wondering what Disney's <laughs> going to do after Cruella? Well, we're going to talk about that. But first, AMC is going to give away free popcorn to anybody that invests in them. So, hey, if you're looking to uh, make a little side money on uh, AMC stock and get some cheaper uh, free popcorn, get on that right now. They're trying to help out their investors. Um, I don't think AMC still got the understanding of what really they were doing, but 
guess they're trying to run this whole thing till it completely goes out and AMC goes away and maybe a better theater will open up in my area. Can only ah, shut up. <laughs> Just say hey. they'll make they'll make bigger seats for you. How about that one? Or lose some weight. No, no, no. I am losing no. weight. I am losing weight. You know what? The issue is when Doc I and I went to go. Yes. Yeah, Doc and I went to go see Scott Pilgrim. That was the first thing I noticed. It's, it's been a couple of years since I've seen him, seen him. And then when he got out of the car, like, I was, I looked him up and down and I was like, damn, Doc. Right. He gave me what they call in, in the HR world elevator eyes. I, yeah. <laughs> elevator eyes started at the bottom work my way up is right. that what it is it is okay all right i didn't necessarily check him out but i it's very noticeable that i remember doc was as a matter of fact i think he was wearing no you weren't wearing the headlock gear shirt there i was wearing the headlock gear i think were you wearing it that day i can't no remember. no no i was uh i was i think I wore you wore that here on the show a yeah while i think it was the Scott and i noticed it fit you a, yeah it was yeah something like that and you uh but yeah, Doc's losing weight, man. Doc's Doc's getting healthier, and dude, the seats are fucking amazing where we were at. So it was it was nice. Yeah. All right, so keep fucking losing weight and stop complaining about AMC. <laughs> no, but they don't recline at the one. That... I don't know about I don't know about his legs though. I yeah. don't know what to tell you. Reclining yeah. seats really aren't for movie theaters. Like yes, you're are. forty, you're forty something years old. You never know, they just introduced the shit in the past ten years. Calm so down. You're just supposed to just sit in these old and antiquated seats. Just be yeah, that pretty much. I mean, that, that that's no. that's what you used to do. So what's the problem? I like the now, new things. Now, if there's no AC on the fucking uh, uh, movie theater, then we got problems. I mean, Josh, yeah. if by that same rationale, like that'd be like when they introduced music and like sound and, and they wouldn't have the little guy playing like, you know, the yeah, opera playing or whatever. Actual or audio. Like a little band. Yeah. Yeah. So you I gotta mean, evolve. That's, that's, yeah, you evolve. But I, I'm visually, I want to be visually and as long as the seats are not uncomfortable, he's bitching about not reclining seats. And I look at it like I like reclining seats. I, I I have that problem at work too. My friends will complain about that at work, and I'll just be like, "What are you fucking? Just <laughs> all these spoiled kids." Yeah, spoiled. <laughs> yeah, spoiled. I I hate. I was like, "You're bitching about the most stupidest of inconveniences," and I just look at them. And I'm, like, I'm just here to fucking watch the movie. I'm comfortable. Hey, but the thing is, is, if I'm spending nine dollars to go see a movie at a matinee. Oh yeah, my it. god, nine dollars. Nine dollars. <laughs> nine dollars. You know how much we you know how much we pay for matinees in New York City? How much? Fucking fourteen dollars. Why? He had a uh, fucking since, movie. Uh, Doc was driving. I, I made sure his ticket was taken care of. So See? Uh, I had him taken care of. But he probably spent nine bucks in gas, but as far as he fucking lives for me, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least of uh thirty to forty minute drive. <laughs> well, guys, as we talked about on the last show, that uh, it seems like now the IRS wants to get into the cryptocurrency world. They are now wanting you to report if you buy uh, or if you buy or do an exchange over ten thousand dollars in a day that you need to submit it to the IRS that you spent this money. Who called it? Called it on the show that uh, the government's about to get their hand in the cookie jar. They realize there's so much money being moved around. On that, which the interesting part is now I'm seeing like a lot of uh, news things and they're talking about like the shit coins and stuff. And like, I think they're trying to scare people off from crypto. But again, if you do your research, you you start to find out good coins that have value, what they do. Don't be just buying Doge. Whatever, right? Yeah, yeah whatever, exactly. Really. That's where people are losing their money is they're like, oh, I'm going to throw in 10, 20K into dogecoin and then when it bottoms out and they're like what happened to all my money is you didn't buy in you bought into a joke coin and they're out there they're definitely out there i, I lost a little bit of, well i didn't lose because i haven't sold it yet exactly but i was I always up say point, you don't yeah. lose any money until you actually sell it yeah i was up pretty good at one point and yeah me too i was almost for about a week bucks and now it's yeah. fucking 80 bucks now I'm like, what the fuck man i invested <laughs> what i invest I got it when it was, it was like maybe 32 cents and it shot up to like 85. And I was like, when it hits 90, I'm selling it. And it did, <laughs> it hasn't done it. So I went, yeah, I was about to triple up, make a few grand. And um, yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking for Cardona to like skyrocket because I have like 10 Cardona. <laughs> what is that? You only have, Another? That's a, you only have I think so. Let me check on this one. I've got like 125. I don't know about these. No, it's all right. 
Anyway, well, you uh, gave the least uh, <laughs> surprise when they uh, six they thought- points, Doc. Six points with three minutes left to go. Just so oh, you know, they've, they've got a, the the Hawks. I, I, not. I told you. Well, the UK police were trying to what they thought was bust an indoor marijuana growing operation, but in essence, what they found was a Bitcoin mining setup. It was illegally siphoning uh, electricity from a main supply. That was their biggest problem, not the fact that they were just uh, using a lot of energy. They were uh, pulling it from another supply. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, don't uh, do not do illegal stuff while you're trying to, you know, go to the moon with your coins. How do you mine yeah. Bitcoins? <laughs> I don't get that. Using, what are they doing? Using computers, um, and they just, they roll through cycles trying to create a coin. Is what it does. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, That's I have thing. 27 Cardona. <laughs> Ooh, he could be making some money if it ever gets up to like three or four bucks. Do I have I to buy so. some Cardonas? I mean, that's what my friend told us, but or rather me, and I just like buy some ADAs, yes. Cardona's car, what's it called? Just Cardona or look up ADA, 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 yeah. Yeah, Please, if you're watching or listening to the show, don't take our advice, it's only for uh, uh, entertainment purposes only that we uh, we buy crypto and everything else. Oh, is it crypto? Yeah, it's crypto. crypto. Yep, okay. So, Kellogg's is introducing a cereal robot to make it the easiest food to prepare ever. Is it a tiger? Uh, what's that? Is it a, a robot tiger? No, it's a, just like a, one of those like Coke machine things, but you get to uh, kind of create your own cereal. Yeah, uh, half Frosted Flakes and half. Well, what, what is under the Kellogg umbrella? What's that? <laughs> what's under the Kellogg umbrella of cereals? Huh. Uh, oh, do you want to know what Kellogg? Uh, let me uh, pull it up. Uh, you yeah. got Ford Flakes from Kellogg. Got Frosted Flakes, Rice Krispies cereals. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, you got Fruit Loops, which if you don't know, all the Fruit Loops taste the same. There is no different flavors in the Fruit Loops. It's just which you know what Fruit Loops used to be my favorite cereal of all time, and then I found that out and it fucked with me, man. And so I'm like <laughs> mentally messed with you, like it, it did because I was like, real. no, dude, purple like really tastes like grape, and like I, but it didn't. It all tastes God. the same, and I was like, son of a bitch. I did a, uh, I did like the Pepsi challenge with it, like had a bunch of them laid out, and I closed my eyes, and I would eat one and look. Uh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> he did the Pepsi challenge. I did. Oh, I did man. Yeah. Crave, Crave is a good cereal. Uh, you've got Raisin Bran, you've got Apple Jacks, you've got uh, Frosted Flakes, Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies uh, with the bananas, my shit. They made apparently a Peeps cereal that you could have bought. Wow. Uh, speaking yeah. of marshmallow things, have you guys Apple seen, Jacks? That's have you guys up. seen the marshmallows that have like we've got one that has like a chocolate center in it or a cookies and cream? And so when you melt them up, you've got a little extra flavor inside of it. Nah, man. For those late I night, I know Joshua, you probably haven't done many uh, s'mores out there in the hot <laughs> vault of New York. We have <laughs> s'mores, uh, what you call it? Cookies, uh, uh, the, the you, you not like you guys can go out there and like start a fire, like at a dumpster, and and roast up some marshmallows <laughs> like us us country boys out here in Kentucky and Indiana. <laughs> Why is he gonna have a dumpster fire? Where else are they gonna set up the fire? Like you look at him, he he gets it. Like where else? Where else? Are they, like I, I mean, can you do it on a grill? Yeah, yeah you can do it over your stove. Yeah, you can do it. I over mean, your stove. it yeah, works better if you can get a flame going so that you can burn it, crisp it up a little bit. Yeah, and then you eat it. That's that's the way yeah. to do it. I don't know who these weird monsters are like. Oh, you shouldn't burn it. You lose all the flavor. Fuck that. Four points. Four points, Doc. With two okay. less than three, you may have to go live to the game then here in a second. <laughs> Actually, let me switch it over there and put on there. Shit, Joshua, I told you I'd send you some posters, right? Did Did you want them? Nah, man, I, I need to get like small size posters. I don't want like Abuela <laughs> to <Okay>. get upset because <laughs> I told you I'd give you those three posters. I just I know, like, I know. I know. Right. Today she was like, she was flipping out because like these guys came to inspect the apartment and she's like, Did they look at your room? I'm like, Yeah, she's like, Oh, god. <laughs> and I was like, She's like getting worried now, so I'm like. I, I found a major her. blood, by the way, uh, Doc. Have you been you, you hunt Joe's? What's that? I found a major blood. Um, I don't know if you hunt like uh, GI Joe classifieds or not. Oh, the that action figures? No, find. no, no. I'm holding off. I'm amazed the at the, 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 the transformers. 
like yeah. the one based upon the new animated series and stuff like, like they're like 50 bucks a lot of those yeah yeah i'm not i'm not into them as much i mean i have some i have i mean you see prime and all my loose ones right here but man i i don't unless i really give a fuck about them man like i i don't mm -mm. let me finish up the quickly the kellogg's bow bot offers a vending machine machine type experience uh from anywhere from three dollars to 650 for the privilege uh you will create you can either select uh milk or yogurt and a combination of cereals granolas and toppings like fresh fruit or cocoa nibs and if you're wanting to spend a little bit higher uh it'll cost you 650 for a bowl of cereal fuck that that's stupid man <laughs> like you could buy a you could buy a gallon of like almond milk and like a thing of a box of cereal for that yeah you can yeah and that should yeah. feed you at least for a couple of days if you're not yeah. overly eating cereal all the time yeah that's silly man like that's that's something i mean i've done that like at, at the hospital like i'll buy a like a gallon of milk and or a carton of milk and like almond milk and some cereal and then i'll eat on that like all weekend like you know that's it's like six bucks like I, maybe eight maybe eight but like yeah 650 for a bowl of cereal the fresh fruit having that option with yogurt and all that that could be a little more expensive i get that but like that's kind of silly. Uh, it is a real vending machine. I don't know. Would you guys take advantage of that, Joshua? You working at at uh, a not hospital? For, like, not for the three nope. bucks or six fifty for. Nah, I'm good. I don't. Nah, dude. That. Right? Like cereal, cereal for me is like one of those things I got to be like. I'm rarely in the mood for it, so. Nah. I mean, think about it. For six fifty, you can go get something from McDonald's, like a warm hot breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Most definitely. For two bucks, you can get. I get that for my daughter all the time. A uh, sausage, sausage, uh, a sausage biscuit and a hash brown. Two bucks. You buy three. We get all three eat those and have fifty cents left over. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man, that's silly. <laughs> venom cereal, venom machine cereal. Fuck Speaking that. of ideas that nobody was really thinking we needed, uh, one of the last movies that I saw outside of Scott Pilgrim versus the uh, world um i went and got went and saw the quiet place too which i didn't know it was, oh god it was on video <laughs> on demand and um uh, i will tell you there's a uh, there's a lot of problems with the quiet place franchise but now if you can't get enough of these aliens that they can easily take out with loud sounds uh they're going to be making a spinoff and expanding a, a universe of these characters hmm John Krasinski is making money. Um, it grossed uh, the the first one grossed fifty million domestically and three hundred forty million worldwide on a seventeen million dollar budget, uh, and then the sequel made fifty seven million domestic over just the Memorial Day weekend. So yeah, they're making a lot of money off of. Uh, and if you really think these movies are good, just go back and actually pay attention to the storytelling and the plot and everything in the quiet place too is telegraphed like they're pretty much they, they're just drawing it on a wall they're like do you see we're doing this that means that's coming back later and it'll be introduced so just get ready for it yeah dude i've never seen him I mean, I right. no, you're not missing but, much you're not missing yeah much. i mean is uh is it it, it did Jim from the office, like he he dies in the first one though, doesn't he? Yes. Well, spoilers. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen it, so I'm like, yes. <laughs> he's I will tell you, he's back in the second one also. But it's flashbacks. Flash it, no, it's one. Well, no, it's a it's a the beginning is a kind of a setup, and then uh, they start okay. start present day after the first one ended. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, nah, man. The I other issue I have with going and seeing it at the theater because they're saying, oh, you know, you need to go see these movies at the big theater and everything else. But because that movie's supposed to be quiet and they're utilizing the silence to really pull you in, the fucking whatever movie's playing next door with the loud oh. sound like, sound like you're outside Joshua's apartment. Yeah. Like, you're here, and I'm like, who the fuck's got the car <laughs> driving around? Because you just hear Fast and the Furious oh, right next door. door. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know. What, theaters need to be like, okay, we need to get the quiet period dramas next to these. Uh, other films because yeah i think the last time i saw like jurassic park was next to it and i'm like fuck you can't really fully concentrate on it wow that's a good point that's a good point so yeah amc i need you to do that move the correct films next to each other for sound purposes and give me some reclining seats in the louisville market <laughs> thank you 
Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going to escape. Ah! <laughs> Anytime you come there, oh, I got your ticket, Doc. It's it's Thank that you. one's on the house. If you think Ash Williams is dead, no. Evil Dead franchise is gonna be coming back. Evil Dead Rises or Rise uh, will be a, uh, I think a follow up. I don't know if it's going to be a follow up from uh, the third film or a direct follow up from the second film. I can't remember what they're saying it was going to be. Uh, it's going to move the action out of the woods and into the city. Uh, this it's going to center on two estranged sisters. The reunion is cut short by the rise of the, the flesh possessing demons, thrusting them into a primal battle for survival. Now, uh, Sam Raimi's not fun. directing it. Uh, just him and Bruce Campbell will be producing it. Lynn Cronin will be directing the film. And what has Lynn Cronin also worked on? Nothing good. Let's see. Sam Raimi's like, I got that Marvel money now. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. What has he known? I'm a Doctor Strange, your ass. He's done um, a couple short horror films is what he's done all right mm. well i mean sam raimi i mean that's how he kind of started off with things so let's see what this guy can do you guys fans of the evil dead no not really yeah i like the first two. Well, thanks for joining the conversation joshua appreciate that <laughs> i like no, the first I mean, two I, I never did see army of darkness I, though i never i never i like they never the evil dead movies never really interesting so i'm like whatever i saw the porno parody of it <laughs> was it evil head no it was the evil dead the porno parody and it was oh really that's bad. what it's called like they should have called uh, evil head like and you know perfect it, opportunity it, like and, why would and, you and you want to know how i found out about it oh my like, god the they, hawks they, are up by one yeah but i told you they were gonna win what is going on uh the the my one of my favorite indie wrestlers tim Dunst, was interviewing the director of it who was like a friend of theirs and he in, he did it and i was just like jesus christ and i watched it i was like it was very terrible. I mean, have you ever really like you guys ever really watch a porn for like a, like a plot? I do the porno parodies because I just want to see how funny they are. <laughs> really, like the whole like what what are they? Are they an hour and a half? Like an hour? Like, like yeah, an hour and change. Like without the sex. Really? Scenes. Yeah. Wow. I just thought like the fun part would be like, oh, there's like bad girl and she's like getting plowed or whatever. Like, you know, something nah. like that. When it comes to superhero movies, they're like parody stuff like that. But it, it really pay attention to like the plot of any of them. I always thought that was just such a silly concept. It looks like uh, the group Burning Angel did the uh, porn parody. You can find it if you do a little research online for it. <laughs> so, yes. You know who does Hold on. I talk just about to... the plot? Go, sorry, no, sorry. There's like a scene in it while I'm watching it. And you could tell this is totally not scripted, and the girl kind of had to check the perform the male performer. So she's like getting double fucked by in each hole. And then one guy's like, I'm gonna put it in the other hole with the other guy. And she's like, no, no, let's just go back to the other hole. I don't was, care. Was she the possessed deadite? Yeah, she Dead was like one of the oh, so she was just like <laughs> No, no. And I just remember no. just watching. Out of all the going, things I'll do, that I won't do for you. And I, I if you, if, to our listeners, our watchers, if you ever get bored and you can watch that, watch it for that one scene where she's like, "No, no, just the good old DP. We're gonna stay out of there." <laughs> just the good old, you know, just like back in the day, good old DP. Let's keep it, <laughs> let's keep it real. Um, speaking of like weird porn type things, uh. Have you guys seen the Marvel Legend figure, The Hood? I sent you guys a link on the chat. You can include this. Oh, that's the here. guy that with the two guns with the cape. That are like yeah. The demon. Dude, he yeah, has dude. these weird accessories that I guess maybe they go on the end of the guns. Tell me, if you zoom in, it doesn't look like two pink dongs, dude. It looks like two. Th these figures are going to get pulled off the shelf because people will complain about it. Oh, they do. Dude, I picked up one of those today because uh, I was out hunting and Brian wants get it. get banned. I guarantee they're gonna get banned, man, because they look like two pink dongs and with fire like going around. I'll, I'll post the it. weirdest accessory, man. The weirdest fucking accessory. It's not like, like I guess bullets. it's like you put it in there and it's like a bullet going. Through. It don't look like no fucking bullet. Man. It was an interesting character in the in one of the last comic series I was reading. I was like, oh, this guy seems like he's legit, but Shooting nothing came up at you, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
I'd run for cover too. It's like jackass. When <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I saw that today, and you guys talking about that. That 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 I don't know. I had to share it with you. Well, uh, Sony is continuing on with her Spider Verse without the Spider Man, and even uh, recently, uh, uh, they were interviewing. Was it Jared Leto with Mor- Morbius? And he no, was, that was uh, who was it? who was it they were interviewing? <laughs> Tyrese Gibson. <laughs> oh yeah, Tyrese Gibson, who just can't shut the fuck up in any. I don't. Yeah, any- yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think it's shut the fuck up. I don't think he knows what the fuck he's talking about. No. And then the rock like, don't shut the fuck up. Because the kid, uh, there's a kid I follow who follows like comic books. He's mainly DC, but he's also Marvel when the movies come out and everything. And he was like, oh man, uh, he said the movie's coming out when? Wait a minute, but this release date is October. He's saying January. He doesn't <laughs> make any, he's like, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. No. <laughs> so yeah, Tyrese said that. Uh, <laughs> The new uh, Morbius movie was, in fact, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, Kevin Feige was like, I, I don't know, he hasn't responded, but I think he's pretty much like, don't listen to anybody coming from Sony. Like, what's connected? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, but now we have a, they were, they're planning on doing Craven the Hunter because, God forbid, you build any uh, heroes. Let's just keep making movies off of villains, a la Disney. And see what happens. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, I guess now is not going to be playing Kick Ass or uh, Quicksilver. Is going to be the new Craven the Hunter mm. in the uh, the new movie as it comes out. So our own Craven, what are you thinking about Aaron Taylor Johnson? Uh, you live, uh, you live, you live. Either live yourself, live long enough to see yourself a hero, or die a hero. Or you live, you live long enough to be the villain. Well, he did die the hero, and now he's back uh, he's a, to be the villain. Well, he was technically well, he died a villain. A villain. But, no, he was a villain, but then he died being a hero to come yeah. back as a villain. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really enjoyed Craven's Last Hunt. That was like I didn't know much about Craven the Hunter uh, until that that book came out with beautiful art from Mike Zek. Um, it's it i i i don't know it's it's who's he gonna hunt is he gonna i guess this is his origin story and then it has to be his origin story. it's gonna have to be and, and <laughs> you know he's gonna hunt he's gonna hunt poachers <laughs> yeah i mean is he gonna <laughs> oh hunt my Puma? God, really like you know what's he gonna do it's it's I, I don't like he's such like he was such a powerful villain and then when he died he was other than like in torment, like at Spider-Man torment that came out, you know, when uh, McFarlane like released Spider-Man number one and shit, like he had like, you know, glimpses, like they yeah, a cameo in there, but it was just like Spider-Man fucking tripping. Like, I think he's been dead, like legit dead since he like got his face blown off. So that's, you know, that's one of the rare instances of someone in comic books that actually died and stayed dead. So. Well, didn't his kid show up in the comics? Did he? I've, I take over Dark the Avengers role. It's called Dark Avengers. I don't even know they were West Coast Avengers. I'm I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> we need Brian. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, possibly, but uh, I do. I that was one thing I always did like that he was a badass, and then when did he I, died, he. I, I'm I'm reading uh the the Thunderbolts where uh, mm-hmm. Osborn took took it over. Is that does that yes. lead into the Dark Avengers? Uh, I'm trying to think of timeline. No, yeah, I, I think I, I think no. it came before. Uh, I think Thunderbolts came before dark avengers that's what i'm saying because I, yeah. I mean because he's there they're they've got bullseye but they're keeping bullseye away from everybody but he is just kind of the last x factor if they need to whether I or not thought, it leads um, in i'm not sure but i know that they was, that series came first what was the um the event where norman osborne was like president of the united states or like he was the leader of something i thought the dark avengers uh, uh came from that it did. It did. But I'm saying Thunderbolts, the series, I believe, came before Dark Avengers. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm not. That's, I thought that, so whether I'm or thinking, not there may have been an instance that happened that tied the two, like that led from this to this, this. But Thunderbolts yeah. did come before Dark Avengers. No, I mean, no, no I know. Like, but the, the Thunderbolt, the, uh, the Thunderbolt story where Osborn is in charge of them. Did that happen? I, I think know. that was when during the the arc where. Norman well, no, like, like, well, like, uh, from what I read, it's right after Civil War, so they had created, they had created the Thunderbolts okay. to deal with all the unregisters, and they are like, they're 
fucking them up. Like they're like, we're not going to let them mm-hmm. just go in nice. All right, we're going to make an example of them. That after Civil War, that event happened where Norman Osborn. I don't know. What, it's it's. I think it's when the Iron Patriot uh, comes out, and uh, Norman Osborn is the Iron Patriot. But that's when he was in charge. Like that's that's what what it was. That was those were the events that happened. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it says uh, Dark Rain. That uh, yeah, I think it's Dark Rain. The series Dark Rain, because that was yeah. around the time that Secret Invasion was coming around. Dark Rain was. Now uh, Zemo was in the um, in that uh, that one gimmick outfit, the Iron Patriot who, outfit. Who was Zemo? Oh, I always thought it was uh, Norman Osborn. No, I don't think so. Oh well, we don't know comics apparently. We're just <laughs> idiots. All right. We're all trying to I read just, through Wikipedia there, right now. Like, bro, anything Ultimate Universe pre fucking uh, fuck Ultimatum and stuff like that. <laughs> I told him he he doesn't know basketball like I do. I was watching the fourth quarter. I'm like, they're gonna lose because they're just doing stupid things. And he's like, no, they're not. They're gonna, they're they're, they're gonna lose. I'm like, no, they're gonna win. Wow. Jesus Christ! It was forty to nineteen in the 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 fourth quarter. The Hawks over the Philadelphia. So does that mean now Philly's gonna just run them for the next two games? Or no, there there seems to be a lack of inability because like I was telling Young Matthew, I was like, they're the bigger team. They, they just need to team. dominate in the post. But they seem to do this dumb thing where they're ahead big, and they go, you know what? Let's just start just shooting threes for for no apparent reason. And then he has this stupid thing with Seth Curry where he sits Seth Curry when Seth, Seth Curry had 32 points tonight or over 30 points. Jesus. Why would you why would you sit that kid down? Yeah. It's just weird, man. Like it's it's a dumb thing. I I don't think Doc Rivers is a good coach. I hate to say it. He's and, a good player for the Hawks. Wow. And and Joel and B needs to be like, I'm I'm seven foot forever and I could just dominate in the post. Yep. You know, so and uh yeah, Trey Young had 39 points. There you go. So Look. apparently, uh, when when Norman Osborn became like the new director of Shield, it was because okay. he stopped the uh, scrolls during Secret Invasion. Okay. So that okay. led to him being, re- you know, replacing and becoming replacing Tony Stark. I think is what it said. Yeah. Replace. And so that's that's what's happening. So, so, so are we thinking that the his control of the Thunderbolts came before the? Yeah. Okay. Before the dark yeah. Avengers. Okay. Yeah, because I think that's because he when he became had that that leverage, he used formed his like use that leverage to do his own agenda. Okay. Yeah. That's what that's what I felt. It was a good series. If you've not read it, uh, look up. Uh, it's uh, I think Garth Ennis wrote that Thunderbolts run. So mm. uh, check it out if you got the the Marvel uh, universe or Unlimited. Marvel Unlimited. Yeah. Yeah, definitely check it out. All right. Yeah, you know, shit. Fuck. I got to read that Craven's last time. I, um, that was on my things to read list. Beautiful. Mark, uh, Mike Zek is one of my favorite artists and a very famous, like, cover artist. He did a lot of old school punishery. He did the, you can see the uh, the the old meaty thighs behind me of Captain America there. He, he did that. Um, oh. Very famous. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance uh, to that. Yeah. <laughs> If he, um, if you looked at the uh, Punisher miniseries, um, they came out in uh, in, in mid '80s, late '80s, very iconic covers. He did all those. Did uh, the famous cover of Captain America Annual? I forgot which one it was, but it, Wolverine slashing on Captain America Shield, and it's sparking up. Very iconic covers. Um, Mike Zek does the art for it. He did a lot of GI Joe stuff. The art alone is fantastic. It's Spider Man's in his black costume. It's fucking. It's it's a beautiful it's a great story and and it looks it's beautifully done some of the other news that was uh that came out uh in television is we're going to be getting an assassin's creed netflix series um they're enlisting the screenwriter that uh has done a lot of uh big budget uh movies action movies the the writer of die hard jeb stewart who also worked on the Fugitive, um, and also is bringing uh, Vikings Valhalla to uh, Netflix, is going to be uh, being the writer, head writer for the uh, new Assassin's Creed. If you remember, there was a Michael Fassbender movie that came out. Uh, it grossed 200, $240 million against a reported $125 million budget. So Okay, that's not bad. It did well. I don't know anybody that saw it. 
Oh, I actually, I do. I know Joshua. He said it sucks. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Ubisoft, um, if you if you need to watch something very cringy, go watch their E3 because it is extremely cringy to watch. Uh, they're going to be also releasing an animated Splinter Cell series written by John Wick creator Derek Colstead. Uh, I'm and, looking forward to that. Uh, yes, because you apparently love all John Wick shit. Uh, no, I like uh, Splinter Cell and Sam, Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher the man. Oh, okay. Uh, an anime series based upon Far Cry. Not sure like what point of time Far Cry will be at. Uh, there also, as you know, we were talking about it uh, uh, last year, a film version of The Division starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Jessica Chastain uh, is on the way to be made. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> now, when you say The Vision, what, what vision? What's that? What, you said uh, a vision what? What were you saying? I don't know. You tell me what I was saying. I'm not <laughs> you just said a, 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 a <laughs> something about a movie. Said, Based the off vision, of the vision. The vision, yeah. I don't do what? Talking about the, the writer, or what do you mean? You, what you, the fuck is oh, the vision? The, the, yeah, the, the, oh, the division. Oh, the oh, division. The, the, I the, gotcha. That was like the vision. It's, what the fuck are you yeah, talking about? No, it sounded like you said the vision and class heard <laughs> it too. I said the he said the division. He said division, and we heard as the vision. The vision. The, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is I'll that? Over the division. Okay, Tom Clancy. My words. <laughs> Isn't that what it is, Tom Clancy? Yeah, it's another the Tom Clancy. Make that money. Tom. That's a good game. Who do you think I is going to go longer in a uh, video game world uh, that are that are already passed away? Madden or Clancy? Clancy. Man, I don't know, man. Dude, Madden is like every year it's coming out. There's a new Madden, a new Madden, a new Madden. Yeah, oh, but man. like Tom Clancy. I don't, is Tom Clancy really dead? Yeah, he's really John, dead. John Madden's alive, right? No, yeah. John Madden's dead too. No, he's dead. No, he's, he's not. not. He is. When not, he didn't fucking John, die, dude. John Madden is alive. He's yeah, eighty-five he, years old. You fucking well, weirdo. Barely alive then. Well, <laughs> you know who's gonna pass Samuel, away this week Pat. now because we made. Yep, yeah, he's gonna pass. Oh away fuck! Like, oh shit! They shouldn't have said anything. Oh shit! Tom Clancy's dead. At the beginning of the years. I didn't know Tom Clancy's dead. I thought he was still alive. No, he's still writing books. I thought. No. Well, so I guess John Madden wins this one. Yeah, John Madden wins that one. <laughs> well, no, because uh, he died. died uh, Tom Clancy died October first, two thousand thirteen. Ooh, Madden is alive and well. Yeah. Well, he's alive. I hope he's well. He's well. We would have heard something. Got to see John Madden. They're talking about the guy who always took a bus everywhere because he didn't like flying. I think that guy's living pretty good. That's, didn't that's, they? That's, uh, didn't I he? Went, wasn't he in a plane crash or something? And that's why he would always take a bus. Then uh, I guess so. I guess with the Raiders, right? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, man, can't fucking blame him there. Well, another, uh, movie, another movie that came out recently, uh, Cruella, which some people call the female version of the Joker. I would tell you, you're fucking an idiot. Uh, did you? Uh, hold on. <laughs> do, do, do do you know why she hates Dalmatians? Did you hear about this in the movie? So so, I understand why she hated Dalmatians, and then at the end spoilers she gets her own dalmatian she gets the dalmatians that in essence killed her m mom um so uh yes which totally makes sense and then she's like oh i'm gonna take these down these dogs and they're gonna be mine and i'm like well didn't didn't you want to kill 100 of them to make a fucking jack that's later that's later yeah so i don't know how she got pissed off with these dogs again and then it was like well, no, because then no, at, I feel like at the end, she's giving the dogs to the people that would then become the couple that have the 101 Dalmatians. But then she'll so be I, going oh, to kill them. Yeah. So basically, them so basically, she gives the, the dogs to these people and, and hopes that they their kids, they have kids. And then she kills the kid to make a jacket. Yes, Makes exactly. Sense. That's what happens at the, the end, post credit, uh, post credit or mid credits. Spoilers, if you haven't seen it. And what I'm starting to think is uh, it's all these people that something tragic happened in their life and now they become the villains. So aren't the people that like Cruella and like uh, Sleeping Beauty and stuff, aren't they going to go evil because of the way these people? No, yeah, because they break the cycle. How do they break the cycle? Because they live happily ever after. <laughs> 
Well, continuing on with the villain line, <laughs> like somebody at Sony keeps getting in the ear of a Disney exec. Uh, now we are going to get a uh, long in development prequel to the 2017 live action film, which started it all, Beauty and the Beast. And we're going to be following, uh, following Gaston and Lafur. I think that's how you say it, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. So we get to find out how Gaston and his buddy became friends. And Gaston become the legend that he is before he uh, fell off. The he's just a fucking cocky dude, man. Like that's he's, he's no. So now we we need to know that something happened in his life to make him this asshole that he is now. It's probably like an only child and like I fucking see. like lifted a lot of weights and he had good looks and so like women threw themselves at him. Like yeah, it's a fucking. That's, Who's gonna that's, be? Uh, so we had the uh, Sleeping dude. Beauty. Uh, we had her Malefic Maleficent. Now we have the guy Gaston and Cruella. I wonder who's going to be the next one. I don't know. Who do you guys uh, think would be? Could they do a Captain Hook, even though they already did Pan? Could Disney yeah, do a Captain a Hook? Hook? That, well, I mean, be? that was, was Pan Disney? Nah, I don't know. I don't think no, so. Pan The Robin Hood one? Or the Robin Williams uh, one? No, no. Pan yeah. was the, basically a prequel to uh, Peter Pan, and it shows you how Captain Hook becomes Captain Hook. Like, it's yeah. like... It's called Pan, but it's not about Peter Pan. It's stupid. Yeah, I don't but know. Uh, I was—they could do Captain Hook if they really make if they really. Hook would be that. like pretty cool because you could probably get a little longevity out of that. Let's they see. They can't do uh, they can't do the fucking whale from Pinocchio. Oh, uh, you know, you know what they're gonna do is, <laughs> you know what they're gonna do is after uh, after uh, uh, shit, Little Mermaid. Uh, they'll probably oh, Ursula. Ursula. They'll probably do Ursula. Yeah. All right. That actually. So uh, no, Melissa McCarthy is gonna be Ursula prequel. Yeah. Who is Ursula in the the new? Uh, Mel- Melissa McCarthy. Is she okay? Yeah. They, they couldn't find a uh, person of color to play that character. They had to. They had well, to actually... Queen Latifah was her in the the, mu- the live action musical oh, on BBC. Yeah. Because the, 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 the reason uh, that I wonder about that is uh, we're now going to be getting, uh, and I don't know who was asking for this, is uh, uh, Perfect Strangers is getting a reboot. What? Yes. Uh, HBO Max. Uh, what's that? There's going to be a new Balky? I guess, but a more of like uh, La Balky. Uh, <laughs> that was horrible. I, didn't, I was really struggling what? to pull that joke. Um they uh the uh the late one of the people with the black lady sketch show and uh netflix after party robin Thede and london hughes is set to star in the uh, new version where they uh unexpectedly these two people discover they have sisters and they were born they're both inherit a one-bedroom apartment above a trap yoga studio in fort green brooklyn so um uh, about so instead of i and, and i'm wondering are they like they going to be like one's going to be like an african woman and the other one's from new york because otherwise if it's just two half sisters because one was a cousin right we lost joshua too where did he go? yeah yeah because it was cousin larry yeah larry no, I, got a, I, I just i got a phone call that's why okay um yeah uh, perfect strangers aired on abc for eight seasons 150 episodes um if you didn't know how the way that ended they were on a uh, a balloon uh about to uh get engaged to both of their girlfriends and then the lightning strikes that's how the fucking show ended uh and they die no no they didn't die they just, oh yeah got struck by fucking lightning yeah no the well yeah they, they were thought they were gonna die and then they realized that uh they got down safely and that's the end of perfect strangers so i don't wow. understand why who, one who's saying we need this um it just doesn't make any sense like yeah, like was anybody like dude ah shit i love perfect strangers i wish we had another another version of that right right that's like yeah, you could have like, a lot of big okay, fans listen. of that uh, unexpected uh two women unexpectedly find that they're half sisters and they inherit a one bedroom apartment above a, a yoga studio you could have made it anything else like that's just a generic story yeah yeah i don't remember the premises of how Balky like came to America and how he met up with his cousin Larry, but like that's he uh that was just, that alone just, was way more interesting than uh, what this plot sounds like. Uh when uh it's when uh Larry's distant cousin from uh Mipos 
uh, has moved into, had moved, immigrated to Chicago and was connecting with him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, per- yeah. That sounds way better than two half sisters that, enter. that sounds fucking stupid. That won't like, but the, the, Both of them just don't sound like a good idea. Like, ooh, that sounds. No, stupid. no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. But at least back you, like, at least in the 80s, I mean, it was silly and it was, I, I was a kid. I thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like as good as like Night Court or something like that. That, that is coming better. back also. I don't know if you realize that or not. I Night didn't Court fucking know that. going to be coming what? back. Hollywood done ran out of ideas. They, dude, you can't replace Harry Anderson, man. Like the magician. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's dead, Doc. <laughs> he's not alive. No, no, he passed away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not unlike John Madden, who's alive. And well, For now, <laughs> just want to say, usually when you talk about somebody, that's when they pass away. When you Concave, think, oh. 2021, July. Uh, yeah, so Night Court's going to be coming us. back, rebooted. Uh, John Larroquette is coming back to the show. And then uh, okay. from... Uh, that's it? <laughs> uh, let's that's see. it. Coming back from it. Uh, well, uh, Melissa Rauch from, uh, uh, from Big Bang Theory will be uh, also on the show. Kind of wonder if that's supposed to be the uh, the blonde's daughter from uh, the original show. Mm. Who's Melissa Rock? Is she the? She's the blonde, the 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 blonde the, chick. Oh, the, the big kitty blonde. Dag on, dude, that chick gets stacked, man. They had a big breasted woman on Night Court. I don't remember. No, not, not no. Night they Court. had Marky Post. Yeah, I, think, the girl I bet from... you that's supposed to be Marky Post's daughter. Probably, she dude. Thinking. She was like back then. She was hot. She even looked good on uh, what was that? Uh, pork and beans, Frank and beans. There's uh, 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 something, there's about, something Mary? about Mary. About Mary. Like, she looked good then. Oh, the mother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked good. She was with uh, she was like married to uh, the black dude from They Live. That's who that was. Yeah, Keith David. <laughs> oh yeah, Keith David. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he does. He's on Cameo Doc. Yeah, no. shout out. he's still alive too. Yeah, I'd get him to he's do the song voice if uh, if uh, if I had a cameo. So well as oh, cameo. Hell yeah. Expensive. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Bones must have dropped his price up because jo- Joshua was just like, "You pay that much?" He was like, "No, no, I didn't pay that much." Damn, it was only though. 25 bucks. Yeah. But he fucking no need to like 20 seconds. What a douche. The well, he, did, he, did a, he did longer, but I chopped it up too. But the one he did, my buddy was way longer. I, I gave him a lot. Anyway, yeah. I just, just wanted to plug. That was all. Yeah, I very nice. Very evil. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the Farley yeah. brothers, you were talking about something about Mary. They are supposed to be make. Oh, the, the, they, didn't they do, uh, oh, the bowling movie, right? Oh, Kingpin. Kingpin. They're supposed to be making a sequel Damn. to Kingpin. That's Why? A great movie. I don't what know. Is, There's like, stories to be told, apparently. There's no story to be told. Like, Randy Quaid is barely fucking alive. Like, what? what? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Yo, Hollywood ran out of ideas, man. They do. They're just rehashing like, idea. After yeah, idea. like, yeah. it's bad. And a lot of these shows like, don't have success because what worked back then does not work now. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, you couldn't have some dude on there like doing some crazy accent, being so stereotypical. Like, oh, Bounty no. Like, oh, no. No way. No way. So, yeah, it's, yeah, you can't do that shit now. People be in an uproar. Well, as E3 came and went, uh, right now they're saying because what Sony wasn't even there. Uh, the biggest news was coming out of Microsoft and here's some of the, the big things that they're talking about. Uh, you'll now be able to, uh, try a, like download a game, try it out on the X cloud before actually buying the game. So if you're wanting to test out a game before you purchase it, you can, uh, use the cloud to see if it's worth it. And then, or if you're like Joshua, you'll go pre-order it, go get the game, get annoyed with the game bitch about marvel's avengers and then <laughs> then wait for that black panther part to come out soon for that no i, I i've yet to touch that game but once i i was like oh this i was like oh guardians of the galaxy uh wait that's the same people that made that mars uh i'm good <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't don't worry about me i'm not even gonna bother fucking painting like uh, what a piece of shit company man i don't the thing like, is, is what what i'm bothered by is it's like you don't have to make them the marvel cinematic universe looking you got the comic books 
pull from that. But it's like they like they're going, okay, we got the comic books, but let's make our own version of it, but let's really fuck it up. Can we do yeah. that? Can we do like that? Drax looks like someone just swiped a, a paint stick on his oh, chat. Yeah. Like and then Gamora just like I, I, the only one that looks good is Groot. Like Groot, like they didn't fuck up Groot. Rocket Raccoon's got like a fucking like goatee dangling soul pack. I don't know. Like, yeah, well, there's a there's a Groot Funko Pop head is in his beard. Like it's just if it, like, it's not that hard, man. It's not. It's, it, and the like, other thing is, is like well, what I was talking about that music and stuff. That's James Gunn's uh, Guardians. That is not <laughs> that is not the comic books. That's not any of their animated series. Right. And it was very much. Right. Hey, we got some pop hits to, from the '70s that we're gonna play to make you all connect to the Guardians. No, right. that's James Gunn's idea. Yeah, which was a great idea, and yeah, it it just seems that yeah. That's why that's that's one of the things I don't like when they make comic book movies for for lesser known characters, and the movie becomes a success. They go, well, we have to make the comic book character like the movie counterparts, and I just go. That's that's so stupid. Uh, it is kind of a backwards idea, but then I guess you get something that's super profitable, like a movie, as opposed to comic books that aren't very profitable. So they probably think, all right, that we should you should take all the characteristics from the comic and implement that there. But then once there are those traits, whether it's a look or you know the way they act or or a new design or whatever, then yeah, they totally do that into the into the comic book now so yeah, which just, i was thinking about this the other day because i don't keep up with like black panther are they doing now that you know black panther died for the actor are it's are they gonna move on in the comic book series too they're gonna make black panther like a no, chip no, 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 no 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 he's still alive he's still black yeah, panther no nah, just not in the movie we're not gonna get a new black Panther. okay it's, it's right. not like they've, I, they've stopped making iron man comics or anything like that no yeah, but I'm saying Iron Man, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is still alive. I'm just saying, like, with since he died and since they're going to make Shuri or whoever make her Black Panther, like, I wonder if they're going to take that same route and do that to the comic and, like, kill off uh, T'Challa. No, they're not going to kill it. No, nah, that's, that's not. No, that's, okay. He's, a, he's a, a marquee character that needs to stay around. Like, yeah. it, it's unfortunate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's not going to get recast, and I, 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 I called it, and I was like, I understand why, but yeah, I wouldn't. It is. Yeah, they can't. It is what it that. is. Yeah, no, they, they could. Recast. They just don't. They just. I. They're going to go with that whole like you know we were a family, and he was the uh, heart and soul, and like the guy fucking made the movie. You you dying, could still recast. Say. It just wouldn't be T'Challa, but you yeah. can have the black yeah. Black Panther is a moniker. So, yeah, right. but so, just, so if we're opening up the multiverse, Loki's already breaking up and and setting it all into craziness. You could have another Black Panther, just not T'Challa. Nah, yeah. it just doesn't. It doesn't work. Mm. Like it, people are just too sentimental about stuff, and it just like once I, he passed away, and then you find out he was doing the movie while he had cancer. Right. You're kind of just like you. You got to honor that memory and that sacrifice he did, and you know. And the fucked up thing is though, if you you know. I, and I'm not saying I know him, know him anything, but they he probably say no. The show must go on. You you should recast me, and you know don't uh, take away from the fans the, the great stories we could have with the Black Panther. You right. know, no, it's right. it's really unfortunate that in the first one, Michael B. Johnson or was it Michael B. Jordan died like a character. Jordan, yeah. yeah, Michael B. Jordan died. It, like the character did because dude, like if he would have picked up the mantle of Black Panther, like if maybe he wouldn't have died, but went to i don't know what kind of jail or something i don't know eh, whatever and he ends up becoming black panther after all that happened that would have been pretty cool you could still have dude, that dude can his fucking ass off. and from the multiverse as the black Panther. yeah yeah i, guess. Yeah, I mean that's possible but With really you you're, can do only, anything. you're only gonna have more black panthers depending on how people take the next one right because if you got people that are like well it's not it's not the black panther anymore and they don't go see it then that will pretty much kill that franchise right right i i, I think it, it i guess we'll see, we'll see i they... mean I, I think like eventually like i i kind of see disney saying oh well we spoke to his widow and she gave us permission and we're gonna recast them because if that second movie does fucking mega banks 
they're gonna fucking be like, we gotta make another, you know. Because think about it, they were gonna introduce like supposedly, you know, two marquee villains in, in Black Panther too. So you did you, know? you, you had two marquee villains. Oh well, the the next one's supposed to be setting up. Uh, what's Doom and Namor? Yeah, I, are, why are they setting up Doom in that movie? I mean, because he was technically, I think Doom was supposed to be the next big bad, right, or the next fate. Supposedly, we never, we don't even know. But I thought Namor was uh, with Atlantis is supposed to be the the next big. Bad. Yeah, I thought Namor was the whole thing where they mentioned that whole thing. Oh, that about, that remember they, they, they but then they were like, yeah, that's, that's that. It and, was just, and then yeah, somebody goes, "Ooh, that went hot. Let's let's fucking do that because we don't have any ideas. So let's." Right. Let's, uh, let's do that. Speaking of Namor and actually going on Aquaman, um, should should Aquaman really be in the Justice League if he can't go into space and help them? <laughs> he can't totally go into space. Do what? He totally can go. Into well, space. What is he gonna totally. do? He's still super strong. He's still super fast. Like, do you not know this? Yeah, but he can't he's... do anything else. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Like he's super strong. Like, is he super supposed fat. to go to alien planets and talk to their alien fish? Uh, <laughs> don't be a dick, Martin. Why, why was he talking to Merman from He Man? I know. <laughs> what did that sound like? <laughs> I never knew who Doc could do a fucking merman impression. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think no. I mean, compa- I mean, fucking Blue Beetle can go into space by himself, but Aquaman would have to have a whole suit and people to take him up there. I don't think he should be in the Justice League. Leave that motherfucker in the water. Oh my god! What is I mean, Aquaman wrong? doesn't need a special suit. It's not like he's a fish and he'll like he can't breathe. Dry he, up. If he doesn't have he doesn't have gills, but he needs to breathe. He yeah, can't so be you mean, hold on, tell me, tell me, hold on. So you mean it's on me? The guy who has super strength, super speed, has a a, a bivy of other meta humans. When is he had super but... speed? I've never seen him go f- run fast. Go, go look up his fucking powers, genius. I'm telling you. But his, all this stuff, and you think he's not an asset as opposed now, to Is he super speed because he's in the water? Because I've never seen him running. I never seen him. Just, just, just look it up because I, I literally, I just, I can't with you right now. You're, yes, you, you can. You're, you're just, <laughs> you're, you're doing a must you moment, and I'm just like, I'm not here for it. Yes, the Hawks are. won. You should be happy. They one went away from the Eastern Conference Finals. Be happy. Don't you think be. They're going to get blown out by the the Nets. So no, because the Nets, if the Nets don't have the two other guys playing at 100, percent there's a good chance you guys can beat them. There we go. I like that idea. Let's see. Where is his power? Uh, so he's telepathic. Right he can control all aquatic life, which is useless mm-hmm. in space. He utilizes the trident of Poseidon. I don't know what that's going to do in space. He's a master tactician. So yeah. yes, they can keep him on the, the ship and be like, Aquaman, what should we do? I think you should go and fight because I can't survive in space. He's skilled at hand-to-hand combat, and he's underwater adaptation. He does have superhuman strength, durability, endurances, agility, reflexes, and senses. I would assume speed is only in the water because, again, I've never seen him run fast. Yeah, I would guess, like, yeah, in water. Yeah. Like, you can't fuck with him in water. There is shit in space. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle are better. (laughs) And those are, like, C-level characters at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Once, thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah, and Booster Gold is a fucking like sociopath. He's just, I don't know. That dude, they they did a death battle and he beat Cable. Like the whole episode. They, How does they he beat like, Cable? Like this. I, I, go watch the episode. Like right. it was, it's literally the funny. I was like, they're making it seem like Cable's gonna fucking destroy him, and he kills Cable. Wow. I mean, did like he know? Like, did he get? Did he know from the future what Cable was watch, going to watch, do? Watch, watch the episode, bro. He'd have to know from the future, like what Cable was going to do, and knew how to fight him. Okay, sure, he can't run as fast as other superheroes like Superman or the Flash, but he's fast enough that he can dodge bullets and other projectiles. So, super speed. Shut up. <laughs> that he doesn't help you fast. in space. What does that do for you in space? He can dodge oh, lasers. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <It's insane. laughs> 
this is a family guy joke all over again <laughs> Hey, uh, continuing on with uh, Microsoft and Xbox, uh, you would now be able to, with the X Cloud coming out, play uh, next gen Xbox games on your Xbox One. So if you're to play some of the new stuff, like with Best Buy coming out with uh, what was the game they're coming out with? Uh, fuck, I forgot what it was called. I don't see it. But you'll be able to play like uh, Flight Simulator, which there's no way in hell your Xbox One would be able to play Flight Simulator. Um, but yeah, so I, and they're trying to now also get on to where they'll have, uh, the X cloud on televisions, um, your browser, they, and they're really, there's talks of pushing it to other systems like Nintendo, uh, PlayStation, um, getting them on there so you could play their games. Cause right now the best deal that you can get is the Xbox game pass for what yeah. they yes. what that they charge and these first day releases that you're getting with these games right uh still and then playstation doesn't have anything you're still paying 70 bucks if you want a lot of these no first- they they no they, they they lowered it what now what is it now i think it went it went down to 60 it was over like, oh, that's when they get it bucks. good job no like honestly like thank god they did because they were charging a buck 20 a year and then they for you know, for a year they dropped it down to fifty, and I was like, or "Oh, you talking about with their because of their what Game Pass thing?" Th- yeah, their Game now? Pass thing. Yeah, which I mean, they have more games than Game Pass, but you know, I would say that's the one thing Game Pass has over them is that we give you like Xbox exclusives off the rip, which is fucking awesome. But yeah, they they have way more games. You get PlayStation Three titles, PlayStation Four, and I mean that library is extensive as fuck. And what they offer is a lot. I think what kills PlayStation though is like they need to have like more exclusive titles because like EA has a thing with Game Pass, so all electronic art games have like their their streaming rights. Yep, so right. that's so you know Xbox is really making those good deals for that. But if PlayStation can give us like better exclusives or they do with game what um what Microsoft is doing with the day ones, I think they'll they'll right back in. It. But we'll see. And finally, as we end the show, to add a point to the Wikipedia of Batman, as we notice that Aquaman uh, has super speed, but uh, is worthless <laughs> in space, we now find out that uh, because of the most recent Harley Quinn series that's going to be coming out uh, soon on HBO Max, that the uh, it was Warner, it was a DC or Warner Brothers? I think it's DC. Warner. No, Warner Brothers. I Warner Brothers uh, went ahead and now, if you've not seen Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn is very R-rated. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of offensive language, a lot of uh, gross-out humor, and it's violent in a lot of. Stuff. I don't. Th- I don't think there was gross-out humor. Like nothing right, was ever there's, gross on that show. Like, but, there, but there's the fracking nerds. It's like the fracking nerds of uh of cartoons. It's exactly. Gross-out humor, a lot of offensive language. <laughs> Um, uh, they now have cut a scene where uh, our own uh, Bruce Wayne would have went down on Catwoman. Yeah, that our hero, uh, heroes our, don't do that. Uh, yeah, our heroes don't do that. What? So yes, so now uh, Bruce Wayne does not eat pussy. Is what we found. Oh, get the f- dude! Come on, he's a millionaire playboy. Well, he's a millionaire playboy. He may not have to. May just be like, all right, dude. Billionaire Playboy. Billionaire that's Playboy. I, that, that's well, what I put on my uh, on Twitter class. I said, what, billionaire Playboys don't eat us? <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. So I guess he just like, you know what? So that's what do? they said. Uh, like some people are writing up and says, so I guess uh, your heroes are all selfish people. That like, makes sense. I mean, that does make sense if, if you think about it. Like if we're, talking, probably... if we're talking the boys, I could see uh, what's his name not doing that. Um, oh, what's, what's wrong with your ear? You okay? Sorry, yeah, yeah, it was just it was caught up on my ear weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But yes. Um, so if you were hoping to see Batman eat out Catwoman, it will not be happening, at least not this season of Harley Quinn. <laughs> I hope that scene gets like released on like a deleted or it gets leaked or something. Like the like maybe the 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 uh, I mean, I don't know if it's if it's drawn or yeah, the sketches or something. Like I, I really hope someone like leaks that like like if they, hey, you're fired. Oh yeah, oh, let me leak this scene of Batman going. Oh, okay. Well, maybe oh, he doesn't Catwoman. have to do that because I'll just let Harley Quinn do it to Poison Ivy. So yeah, they did do that. Well, I mean, yeah, as far as we can tell, I don't know. Maybe they just I mean, yeah. Deserve... Poor kite man. I know. <laughs> Hell yeah, that shit broke my heart. Oh. 
I, I, have you not seen Harley Quinn yet? Class, no. you should. No, watch it. no, you should watch it. It's good, bro. All it's right. good, but oh yeah. my god, it breaks Clay, Clay heart. Face. What happens to, to, to Kite Man? Clay really? Is like <laughs> Clayface is the star of that fucking show. No, no, it's Bane. Bane's nah, the star. Clayface is the star. Bane no. too. Bane's like Clayface. Is, every time Clayface talks, I start laughing. Oh, I'm an actor. <laughs> No, Bane gets in with uh, Two Face to take over the uh, Gotham, and so Two Face puts up a big billboard, but it's only got Two Face on there. And Bane goes, "Why would you say that we would have two faces on here, but it's only got yours on that?" Actually, class, I don't. You don't, you probably forgot, but there's a part where Two Face tells Bane, "Hey, Bane, baby, tranquilo," and I put it on my, I put it on my IG story and I tagged you. And I, I do like, remember I that. Like, <laughs> like that show's so good that they don't utilize everybody because like Two Face was only like in there for like two seconds. That is funny, man. Yeah, I, I need it. It's on HBO Max, right? It's really good. Yes. You should watch it. All right. Yeah, All you right. should watch it. You, I was, you, I was very it. amazed uh, that they they would be willing to pull no punches except for Batman eating out Catwoman. And Ron Funches is a good friend of mine, aka King Shark. So you know, it's, that's it's, right. You gotta you gotta share the love. Mm. Yes. That's why I need uh, I need to sign by King Shark when you go to uh, PWG again. Uh, Jen, uh, give me your King Shark and I'll get it signed when I go to PWG. I don't, I don't have any King oh, Shark, but uh, maybe I need to find something. I'll, I'll try to find, find one. Some, right. Find something. I'll, I'll get try to find something. If he's there, I'll be like, hey, buddy, sign this for my guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be class. Class, can you draw me the King Shark from the Harley Quinn, and then we'll have him sign that. So then I'll have oh. I'll it'll be it'll be connected twice to me. That'll be cool. That'd be cool. Maybe we'll see. I, I, I take so long. I can't make promises because I've taken so long to make us a shirt. <laughs> so, that will happen. And I still have to order it. those. You guys realize that? I, I know. I know. Like, I we're know. a month away. I I don't, I don't know what the turnaround time is. No, we just it, we yeah we could be limited. We could go to like Cafe Press and get them in like a weekend. I don't know if that's quick anymore. All right, so guys, yeah. the 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 show comes to an end. Uh, Joshua, what'd you learn this week? I learned that Fruit Loops don't taste. <laughs> They, all, they don't. It's the same <laughs> flavor. And I learned that Mr. Bones is a very inspirational DJ, and I appreciate the everything. The guy gave his phone number and said, Joshua, I'm here to help you. Just remember to hashtag. Hashtag. Just, going to hell. just you know, hashtag. hashtag. Don't say go to <laughs> what hell. The, what, what, what is this? What is this? Right? What are you doing? Like a sideways <laughs> scissors here? <laughs> no, that's that <laughs> that's Catwoman and uh and, and Poison Ivy. Or uh, Catwoman, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, Catwoman uh, doesn't uh, do that kind of stuff. Uh, no, no, class, no, what we point. what did you uh, learn this week? What did I learn this week? I learned that um uh Jim from the Office knows how to uh, make movies, even if they suck. They're at least they 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 they're profitable. No, no, I wouldn't so. say they suck. They just, there's some mate. He's not a, an incredible, incredible director. Like, okay. Just say storyteller instead of director. Better actor than he is. He's, uh, no, he's no Peel. He's no Jordan Peel. I'll tell you that for horror. Movies. Well, oh, you like all of Jordan Peel's movies? No, but I do like, I, I've liked some of what he's done. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. What have you learned, Doc? Uh, I have learned, I don't know. What did I learn? Um, I mean, it's going to hell. I learned that I need to, uh, now that I'm off a few days, I need to get on this fucking design. And I learned that I like your shirt, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. My that's coming out soon. That's that's dope. Yes. How the fuck did you see that shirt? Like, what the fuck? I saw him see? lean back real quick and uh, then I was able to see it from that. So, yes. oh, yeah, I, le- I learned that, that uh, Joshua can take a joke. I have a lot of friends that can't take a joke, <laughs> so I do appreciate. I, I think class would be able to take a joke too. Because, uh, I, I honestly, in the, the privacy of just us talking, I could take a joke. Now, if you do a joke in public domain where people can see, man, I gotta be like, hey, chief, people really don't know about this stuff. You can't be talking next shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have been I have been caught by that too, where I made a joke on uh, that other people can see, and he's like, no. <laughs> yeah, gave man. Me, I, give me the I Jonah Hill, it. just like no, no, no don't. don't. No, no. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Concave and have fun with my bros. Yes, we're gonna Concave is in a well the uh K H A N cave. 
Pentecost. Oh. It's going to be uh, it's going to be coming up in a month. Uh, myself, Joshua. We don't know if class is going to somehow free himself up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll be there that Saturday if nothing. Good, because as we are, we are going to be doing the podcast from uh, yes. noon to four Central Time down mm. there. Uh, we'll be drinking lots of beer. Um, I will have a remote control cooler, so we've got that, so Joshua doesn't have to carry his purse of alcohol. Uh, I do want to carry my purse of. Well, alcohol. bring your damn purse, whatever. Lee. Kennedy, Kennedy has it, not me. Oh, okay, well, Kennedy will have to remember to bring it. Kennedy will also be there in attendance. So, if you're going to be, I'm going to try to come up with a game. Or a game or two, something that that that's nerd related that that I mean that would fit the show, but I, something I, that I, like I, I used to do I, on back row hecklers. I and something unlike well, I'd love to do um uh what do you call it? Uh name that tune, but then we couldn't do that on we'd get flagged on YouTube. Yeah, we wouldn't be able I to got so a game. I'm gonna come up with something else. I got a game we could play on that thing just for you. You could like set it up. Who fuck two comic edition. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, you could do that. You could. Like who, who, had who, who are Eskimo too? brothers? No, no. Just be like this person. Fuck. Who did it? They fuck. That's what the game is. Who did it? They oh, fuck. So it's okay. like Seahawk. You put she fuck Matt Murdock, the Juggernaut, Colossus. Right. And, right. And, and we do you know? But do you know everybody fuck. that they've had sex with? Because I, I mean, there's a lot of comics. That's fun, yeah, but, but it's still a fun. But if game. you knew that they they hooked up with like five people, but you just put three in there and two of which they had, oh yeah, yeah, one yeah, just yeah, a ring a, of like, uh, yeah, four or five characters, yeah. like who who did they not have sex with? Right. And every yeah, answer that's was a good idea. Sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. I think it's work on when it comes to comic books. Yeah, it's like, you should work on that one. And I'll come up with something else. And, and yeah, like, we'll do see, you think just, like, now does it count movie? having does it count having sex with Professor X if it, it's in your mind? No. Okay. Called so a mind fuck. Wait, yeah. so his dick doesn't work? I don't think it works. I mean, right? he's paralyzed. I would guess. No, no. He, didn't he? Dude, didn't he, have he could get kid? up in here and he. That's what I'm saying. He could get in there, but does that really count? There's no insertion, yeah. right? I'm pr- I'm pretty I know I'm pretty sure he can make his dick hard. He mind fuck you. <laughs> he's he's got nah. a, his back is like is paralyzed. No, but he, it doesn't. That, some people who are paralyzed still get erections. They just can't feel it. Okay. Well, we need to. I that. That's true. That is true. Uh, that's what some people that yeah some people that are paraplegic or whatever they could take Viagra and it works. Did it? Hold on. Didn't he have the kid? Didn't he have his son after his accident with, with oh. Moira McTaggart? Okay. Oh, maybe. That's right, Joshua is up in this motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> Let's see. When did he have his kid? Is Legion Working Norman Taggart a really psychiatric facility met a patient named Gabrielle Haler? Oh, it wasn't even my. That's what I was thinking. I didn't think it was Myra McTaggart's. She ever had Moira, it, Moira, not Myra. Moira, Moira. Moira. Like, I don't know. I don't know when he this happened versus when uh he became disabled i'm pretty sure it was when he was disabled bro i'm disabled okay so yeah all right joshua how can we learn more about all your sex capades in the marvel universe well if you want to see me bitch about nba refereeing and all those nba games playing and doc Enjoying his Atlanta Falcons winning, even though fucking Trey Young sucks right about now. Yeah, 39 points. Uh, oh, that's sucking. Yeah, but like 10 for 23 shooting. Hey, um, that, that's Kobe numbers right there. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, uh, you can follow me at Green Eyed Bebop on Twitter. And if you want to see me post weird stories on my Instagram, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Green Eyed Bebop. Uh, don't worry, the show is, is coming soon. Mr. Bones really... Uh, uh, motivated me, and uh, I will do. I'm gonna try to do the first episode. I just want Doc Martin to just shut the fuck up and edit it, make it look good. And well, you got to put the legwork into making it look good. I can. I don't need to do anything. So I'm much. Gonna, this, this is what you're gonna see, <laughs> and then you're gonna have insert panels for what I'm describing, and that's it. And I'll make my few jokes here and there. So don't worry, guys. It's gonna be fun. What a sign you're out. gonna have your you're gonna have your fans your, your hands full <laughs> he's a, Joshua has a great idea I love the idea but holy shit that's, he's been you to work it, it, you're right like so we'll wait. Uh, can you explain to me how he's getting put to work uh, I I do the introduction I explain the first five issues that I want to do 
and make my jokes. I just give him what to insert. Well, to- I, I, I'm just thinking like he Doc is way more advanced in video editing than I am. Whereas like on all my Craven the Toy Hunt stuff, I use iMovie and it takes me fucking forever. Doc just goes in, he fucking knows how to do all this shit with Premiere or whatever he uses. And, and I like I know Adobe products, but I don't know like multimedia. And so, mm-hmm. so maybe it won't be that that bad for him. I, I don't think I honestly I, I truly believe it's gonna be easy because all he's doing is inserting and maybe I, I think I'll do like an introduction an intro because when I'm watching Twitch streams and they're doing their YouTube videos while they do it, they do an intro and an outro and they do the meat of it. So I think um he's gonna get three videos, like maybe the the most is gonna be the middle part, but everything else is gonna be like, hey, what's going on, Josh Carabao here with the fracking nerds for another issue or rather episode of Josh explains the ultimate universe. And then da 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 da. So I, I honestly think he's gonna have an easy time doing it. He's just being a big fucking baby. He's complaining about this. I am you know? So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally can't wait to just. I, I know what's gonna yeah. happen when we're at Concave. He's gonna say something to me during the podcast about my show, and I'm gonna throw something at him. Watch. I'm not gonna say anything because your show's not ready to go yet. So we'll, we'll wait. It is ready to go. Hold on. So, look, yeah. look, I got, I got my, uh, I yeah. got my thing right here. I got my little thingy to hold and hold my camera while i do my talking i'm gonna put it right here on the table well, behind the be scenes like, hey, what's right going? now yeah mm. you know uh class i actually gotta call learn- my friend how can we learn more about you class just go on instagram and follow craven the toy hunt i promise i will have a video this week it's been a month and i haven't dropped anything but it's it's i've been busting my ass to be able to uh, pay for these toy hunts and uh, had a pretty successful one this week. Um, and I was thinking with my new setup, the way I have it now, you don't get those sneak peeks anymore. So I may have to like maybe move the dreadnoughts out of the way or something, which that's, that was that gift that gets that right there. It's fucking expensive, but um, may move that out of the way. You might start seeing those sneak peeks again, but um, craving the toy hunt on Instagram, all my other personal shit. Yeah. Fuck off. Can't have them. You guys uh-huh. can, but no one else. <laughs> Yeah, if you're, uh, you're tell, wanting- him, tell him chris dave <laughs> <laughs> you're wanting more information about fracking nerds you can follow us on instagram facebook twitter or you can follow me on twitter on doc underscore martin remember find your favorite podcast uh, on uh, google uh, iheart radio spotify any place you can find podcasts you should be able to find fracking nerds just don't tell alexa to find it because she'll have no clue where it's at um Actually, I think she does work now. So for some reason, somebody's got, they're not confusing the word fracking. They don't know how to spell it. And then um, trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, we've got our Discord that nobody goes to. So it's there. <laughs> I'm not even going to post a link now. So go back and watch an old episode if you want to figure out where our Discord channel is at. <laughs> uh, a little hide and seek. And if you're going to see us at Concave, come down, say hello. Uh, grab one of the free beers and hand it over to us. That, that'll be good. Wait, I'm about to say, I ain't giving out free fucking beer. That's all my beer. No, no, they've got the free beers there. All right. People hand out free beers. I would gladly accept that. Uh, uh, Yeah, there's free alcohol there. Yeah, it's free alcohol the whole time. Well, you got to pay 25 bucks for your pass, but yeah, all you shit. That's that's chump change for him. Yeah, just Mr. What, 14 hour days and stuff? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm doing overtime soon because I'm just like, fuck it. I want to make money now. I just, I feel the need to make money. That's how it's going right now, man. I, it's so short staffed. I'm doing overtime. So it's time I'm, and a half. But then they're doing incentive pay too, where you get tier one, it's ten dollars extra, or tier two is like twenty dollars extra on top of time and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Is it because like, I've been trying uh, uh, to are people leaving? Is that is, uh, we've yeah, there's been report yeah, yeah the people the ER where I'm at getting nurses in. Yeah, the ER I'm at, they made a bunch of changes and shit. And so like, yeah, I'm yeah, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of things. Someone was asking me about being their preceptor, like teaching like some of the, the, the nurses. And I was like, yeah. fuck that, man. No. <laughs> nah, man, you don't want that shit, man. Nah, nah, you, don't need to, nah, nah. you don't need to learn my bad habits, but. Like, Motherfucker, <laughs> it took me three tries to fucking pass this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. I mean, I'm, I'm all right now. I'm all right now, but yeah, don't. I don't know. I don't know don't somebody no young ones like, under my wing. I know somebody who took them like six tries. That motherfucker is <laughs> hard. I'll tell you that, but. I only got to do it once. I, but right. Everybody I know that became a nurse had to take that test more than once. And like, I was just like, you were second. 
another person had to do it one more time. But I told the person, I was like, at least you were studying and doing what you were supposed to do, your due diligence. This person was like, nah, I'm going to go hang out. And I'm like, you're not going to pass. Yeah. And when she <laughs> failed, she was like, I'm going to, she fucking locked herself in her room and just fucking study, study, study. And she knocked it out the park. And yeah. then you finally got it. Like you were still doing it and you connected it. But this other person, it literally took her like fucking five. <laughs> And I'm like, maybe you should just give up. <laughs> but <laughs> to her point. credit, I think she did it. I mean, technically she did do it. I don't know, but she's a nurse. So God bless her. Perseverance. Remember, I, if you're, know, I, I was, I was going to pay the state for that, that test. No, I'm not saying cost. Do you have to pay the state for that test? Is that a, that's a state exam, right? You pay. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. So every fucking time. the New York state, the, the states are like, yeah, give us money. Fuck it. Give it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You felt Fell 10 times? Huh? Give it to us the love time. Yeah. 45 days, pay us, pay us 150 bucks again. 45 days, keep, yeah. Yeah, over and over and over. Mary, if you Talk stayed with us day. through this whole show, uh, we're going to have Mr. Bones uh, cameo coming on ad directly after the end of this to see what kind of advice he gives Joshua on his Marvel Ultimate Alliance gaming channel that he's going to be doing. Apparently he didn't read oh. the cameo very well, but... Uh, <laughs> watch that and uh yeah and uh help people out so as we wrap the show up joshua over there mr bones says hashtag it our own chris class who craves that hunt this is doc martin saying have a fracking good week